What is up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're just gonna keep this one pretty short and sweet. So it's currently Tuesday. Over the weekend I was in Melbourne, which is in Victoria, in Australia, obviously, and um, managed to get a few runs in down there. One of the runs that I did do was a three by five kilometer workout. Went really good, One of probably one of the best feeling workouts that I've ever done. It was 27 kilometers in total, which I think is around 16 miles. So it was a bigger kind of workout and I filmed majority of it. So we're gonna play those clips now. I hope you guys enjoy and then we'll have a chat about some of the statistics and how that run kind of went after you guys watch these clips. So enjoy. All right, we're down at Albert Park in Melbourne, perfect conditions, running with Tom today, we just, he just took me up, going to hit a 3 by 5 kilometer workout, so starting off with a 5 kilometer easy warm up, now we'll be into first 5k, sitting around 4 minutes per kilometer pace, 1k easy effort after that and then we're going to repeat that again two more times and then finish with four kilometers four or five easy cool down and that should be the workout so gonna finish this off and then we'll probably chat to you just before we start that first 5k rep, let's go. All right, 5k warm up, just about done. Got about 50 meters until the first 5k. Hopefully it goes well, we'll chat to you guys after that. How's the morning? Sitting around 3.54 minutes per kilometer. They're feeling good. All right, first 5K down. I think we did it in 19.20 something. So I think it was 3.53 per kilometer pace. So 1K easy jog and then we go again. Gonna have a, um, a go gel as well after each of these 5Ks. Should keep us nice and fueled. Just about to start 5k number two. Chat to you guys after this one. Let's go. Alright, 5k number two down. I think that was like 19 minutes, I think. Maybe just under in the 18s, not sure. But I might try to do this last one even quicker again. I'm gonna have that last go gel. Should pull through. Should give me the energy I need for this last rep. Ready to go Tom? <laughs> Alright. That one was tough but last five kilometers done and I think it was around 18 minutes 30 something. Whew. 
That was tough. But couldn't ask for any more, any better condition. Nice and cool. Nice and flat. Nice and fast. Woo. We're feeling good. Now, slow cool down around the lake. And then we'll be done. How'd you feel, Tom? Yeah, all good. Walking <laughs> towards the end of it, I that's all work out. <laughs> ah, you smashed it. But yeah, that's pretty much the workout done. Hope you guys enjoyed. We'll go over some details of that workout. Probably in the next clip, but we're gonna finish this cool down and we'll be done. See you later. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed those few little clips that I got in Melbourne. We're gonna go over that run a little bit more in detail now. So we started off, so like you would have seen, I ran with Tom, haven't met Tom before, but yeah, um, sent, sent me a message on Instagram, was keen to do the workout, so he jumped in with me, went really well, like I mentioned. We started off, I had this actually all programmed into my watch. I ended up going a little bit faster on the second and third 5K than I actually had planned, but I was feeling amazing. And yeah, one of those workouts where I really just wanted to give it a red hot crack and not kind of hold back if I thought I had it in me. So started off the first 5K, we did at 4.47 per kilometer pace. And then pretty much I had, had to go to the toilet quite twice in the, the warm up, but I just wanted to make sure that I didn't need to go at all through the workout. So then we jumped straight into the first five kilometer. We did that in 1926, 3.53 per kilometer pace. And then we had a one kilometer easy, just um, jog in between, 4.33 pace. And then we had the second five kilometer, which went really well. But I will mention as well, and you would have seen, I had a go gel after the warm up and then after the first 5K and the second 5K. So really trying to test some fueling. They felt really well, felt really good in the stomach. Like, yeah, no issues at all. They're really quick and easy to um, consume. And yeah, I felt like I had long lasting energy through that whole workout. So fueling really felt like it went well. But yeah, we hit that second five kilometer in 1856, which as was a 3.47 pace. Kind of broke away from Tom a little bit there. I kind of just said to him that, just go like your own pace. I really felt good, so I wanted to give it a red hot crack. So I was really happy with that second 5K. Another one kilometer, just easy pace after that at 4.36 pace, and then that last 5K, I would just really had it in my head. I was feeling really good at that stage and I was like, I wanna really give this last 5K a red hot crack. And yeah, did that last 5K in 1839, which was 344 pace. So I guess kind of did all those five kilometer efforts around half marathon pace, I would say. I reckon at the moment, I'm probably feeling the fittest I ever have. So. I think, um, yeah, if it was a flat one, I think I could push for like a 340 to 345 pace half marathon, but focus is a marathon at the moment. So we finished off after that. I did, well, we did five kilometers easy, but it's kind of broken up into one kilometer and then three kilometers, and then we ran another kilometer to get back to the car. But yeah, ended up 27 kilometers. Like I mentioned, probably one of the best workouts I've ran in my life. Like, literally felt no pain, not much fatigue. Those first couple five kilometer efforts, well, especially the first one, as you could probably see, I was filming a little bit. I didn't feel like I was struggling much at all, which is really gives me a good amount of confidence that that 3.55 to four minute pace is, is hopefully gonna feel pretty comfortable. And that's one thing I probably need to do in the marathon is really just run that first half or the first at least 30 kilometers, like they say, kind of at it, like having that effort feel a bit boring because like, yeah, you don't want to be running that first half of the, of the marathon feeling like, oh, this is 
really hard and struggling a lot, which is what happened in Sydney. I started the first half. From the 10Ks into that race, I was already feeling like absolute crap. So it's, um, yeah, giving me some good confidence that workout. But yeah, that's pretty much it. We finished last week with 108 kilometers. I didn't actually end up having a day off, but I did have um, an easier day on Sunday. We just did 5Ks, but yeah, 100 kilometer, 108 kilometers, which might be one of my biggest weeks. Yeah, it's definitely, definitely the biggest week of prep so far, um, but it's only gonna go up from here until obviously we taper. But the next weekend, I have a 10 kilometer race. I'm hopefully gonna get another video out this week for you guys. Um, yeah, support's been really well, really good. You guys have been loving them. So yeah, I appreciate you guys. That's me done. Appreciate you guys watching this video. Catch you later.